Now on YouTube, I am the top man. And I'm going to talk about what seems to be going on on fucking Sky Sports. Uh, and I've talked about this before, but there's, there's things that have come up, guys, that I think that uh, I just want to have a whinge about. Because I'm sick to fucking death of this. Now, the Suarez situation, right, for a bit of £40 million coming. I don't believe he's worth £40 million. I believe that he's worth what Torres was worth. Hang on, let me just switch that around, guys, so that you're actually looking at me. I believe what he was is worth what Torres was worth. £50 million. Fifty million quid, and I'd take, I'd you know, I'd shake their hand and say, "Fucking have him, have the fucker," because it's just what a hypocritical, absolute fucking wanker that that guy is. All the shit that he's done and that the club have stood by him for, and Suarez goes and just does this in this transfer window when last year he uh, signed a contract, new contract, and. Right, hang on, I'll, sh I'll, I'll fucking read it to you. I'll read it to you. This is a quote from Suarez. I give absolutely everything last season, but it wasn't enough to give us a top four finish. Now all I want is Liverpool to honour their uh, honour our agreement, right? Why sign a fucking contract? This is why I think it's hypocritical. It's hypocritical. It's all right for the players to fucking turn around and say, you know, I, I, want, I want out, right? They're not agree. They're not honouring their agreement that they fucking signed on that contract, are they? That's not honouring the agreement at all. Saying I want to leave, right? After only signing a new contract last year, is not honouring your agreement. So why do you expect Liverpool Football Club to honour their agreement, whatever this agreement might be, and do that? Why do? You, why is it always one fucking way for players? So my situation, my thing, thinking, I was sat there and I thought, how can you stop players from being absolute dick cheesers? How can you stop players from being cocks, right? Because it is. It, all the power is getting with the player. Simple thing, guys. And you can agree with me or disagree with me, give reasons for, reasons against and all that bullshit. Contracts, right? I think you should be forced to... You know, play out 75% of the length of the contract. You should be forced to play out 75% of the length of the contract. Unless the club wants to sell you. Right? And that's fair enough. But I reckon that that will stop absolutely fucking everything. Because, number one, right? Number one. You wouldn't get players turning around a year after they've signed another fucking contract. So that they can, you know... Uh, and then they end up fucking saying, oh, I want to leave one year after signing a new contract for about fucking four or five years, whatever that contract was. It would stop all that. It would stop that fucking in the bud because they couldn't do it. You know what I mean? They can hand in transfer requests and they could fucking refuse it. So fucking what? But they should not, they should be forced to play that length of, uh, of time for that club, whether they like it or not. Right? Because it's just it's fucking bullshit. The power needs to get back to the football clubs about this. Because the players are just running fucking rings around. It's not so much the players. It's the fucking agents that are running rings around them and stuff like that. So I'm just a little bit annoyed about, about all this situation. I fucking can't stand the bloke now. The thing is, like I said guys, Liverpool have stood by him and, you know, been there all the fucking time. When it comes to Suarez racially abusing people, fucking eating people for breakfast uh, or late lunch or whatever time it was that the kickoff was, guys, um, and I, I just don't think that it's fair for then Suarez to turn around and say, "Oh, you're on your honorary contract," and then start being a fucking cock about it, and then you know, whatever, whatever. My opinions, guys, get rid of him. Just fucking get rid of him. It's more of a fucking, you know, disruption than an influence on the fucking team. That's what it is. It's more of a disruption than an influence. Because he fucking gets his bee in his bonnet, then he ends up fucking nutting somebody or punching somebody or fucking eat, trying to eat somebody again. And then you suddenly, the plans that you had for the next games coming up are out in the, you know, they're fucking out. They've gone. Because you've lost your man. You've lost your striker. Get another striker. Not fucking Costa, right? The thing is, with Suarez, 
uh, and Costa. That would be a fucking amazing partnership, that would. That would be an amazing partnership. It's never going to happen, let's face it, it's never going to happen. But I just, I don't think that Costa would be a good fucking player to have. He's just as bad as Suarez. Why do you want to replace Suarez with Costa? And Costa is not as good as Suarez, yet he still comes with all the fucking baggage. So I, just, I don't think that that's the right way to go. Who... Who who do I think would I who would I buy? Who would I if I had Liverpool, if I was Liverpool and I had what? I sold Suarez, I then have fifty million quid or whatever it is in the bank. Fucking hell. Still playing me up, you know, this fucking thing. Turns out my uh, my eldest lad's got fucking chicken pox, so that's why I'm like come up in fucking swollen glands and shit. Anyway, uh, which is why I've been ill like this past while. So, if I had 50 million quid, who would I buy with that 50 million quid? I don't know. Now, I, sat and th I, I, I haven't sat and thought about that, because let's face it, it's not my fucking job. But if we were to buy somebody, if we were to buy people, who would I actually buy? What type of player would I buy? Well, Liverpool at the moment, guys, they've got... the. They've got the right way about it. I think that we should be starting to keep that ball on the fucking floor. Pass it around. We need somebody who's got good fucking passing. Alright? So, I mean, I've always said I'd love to have Xavi Alonso back at, uh, back at Liverpool. I don't think it'll ever happen, guys. I really don't think it'll happen. But I would love that kind of thing. Because that guy's got some fucking creativity like you wouldn't believe. However, he's older now. You know, he's older. So... It's probably, you know, like I say, it's not in Brendan Rodgers' plan. However, um, who else? Ericsson. Ericsson. Should get fucking Ericsson. I'm surprised we haven't got him already. I'm surprised that bid bids haven't been lodged for Ericsson already. You still need, in the midfield, that creative power. Jordan Henderson hasn't got that creativeness. He really hasn't got that creativeness. He'll, I mean, he'll, he'll put his head up and he'll have a crack at fucking goal. But he's, no offence, Jordan Henderson... But you're just not that fucking good. Um, he did pick up at the back end of last season, but at the end of the day, I just don't think he's that good. I don't think that he is top four material. I really don't think so. Um, Ericsson, on the other hand, I think is, is a very good player and a, an up and coming good player as well. Um, and I really do hope that they do plump for somebody like that. In terms of a striker, though, I really don't know. I honestly, I haven't thought about it, so I haven't thought, oh yeah, this is who I'd buy. I haven't thought about it, because at the end of the day, I, I can think about it as much as I like, but Liverpool have got their targets in mind, they've got who they want to buy, and it doesn't give a shit why I fucking think about it. So, you know, I don't tend to speculate on who we can buy, uh, you know, uh, but th there's, there's some players that just stick out in your mind, like Ericsson, I'm really surprised that we haven't re put in a bid for him by now. I really am surprised, because... Uh, you know, pre-season's getting on, and you know, you'd like to get that kind of thing sorted with your team so you can integrate them into training and stuff like that for pre-season. Whatever. Um, oh, and fucking strikers, man. What do you do for strikers? Hmm. I don't know. Leave it in the comments, guys. Leave it in the comments. What do you think? Who, realistically, I'm not saying, oh, fucking buy Messi or some shit like that. Realistically, right... Who do you think Liverpool could buy in the forward role, in Suarez's role, that would do a good job? And I don't mean... The thing is, guys, right? People are going, oh, fuck me, we're going to lose this guy who scores billions of fucking goals for us and scored fucking loads of goals in the league last season. Well, fucking loads of goals. Loads of go He's all right scoring loads of goals, guys. That's because when he gets the ball, he doesn't give it to any fucker else. Let's, let's just face that. He lost the ball. I think uh, somebody somewhere, I'm sure it was somewhere I was reading, he lost the ball in possession more than any other player in the fucking Premier League. Right? Because... Is just I got eyes for goal. It'll look up now. If you give that to another person, he might not score as many goals, but he might get those goals in assists. Priceless, priceless assists. To score a goal, you've got to have somebody who passes it to you, right? Or a little bit of fucking magic, a little bit of magic. Just annoys me. Just fucking annoys me. I don't. I don't. I, it's dragging on. It's dragging on and dragging on and dragging on. You've got to get the right price for him though. Forty million quid, right? 
35 million for Suarez is a slap in the face. He's saying that Suarez is worth is worth as much as what we fucking bought Andy Carroll for. I don't fucking think so. So then you've got to think. 40 million, 40 million plus one quid. The way that Wenger has gone about this is totally fucking out of character. It doesn't seem like Wenger's in control of this fucking transfer, to be quite honest. Uh, it's just gone. I, I just. I think it's a cop now. I've always liked Arsenal. You know, I've always liked Arsenal. I've always respected Arsenal. I've always respected Arsene Wenger. But the way that he's gone about this is just. Just disrespectful, so I, I just fuck that cock cheese, fuck that cock cheese now, guys. So that's my opinions on Luis Suarez. Now, for those of you who aren't sure, who don't know, I do have a fantasy football league uh, thing running up. I'll leave the link in the description to the video that's explaining about it. But you can, you know, create your team, join up to the two leagues that I've got. We've got like fucking tons of players. Got like five bloody uh, five pages full of fucking people. There's some public leagues that don't have that kind of shit. So I'm fucking amazed. I'm absolutely amazed. It's going to be really, really good fun going through the season. Now you've got to be quick, guys. That is actually going to be closing on the 10th of August. I'm shutting the leagues to any more entries on the 10th of August. If you're interested, get that link link in the description. Click in. Get yourself all sorted and get onto those leagues because when it comes to the 10th of August uh, you know, late on 10th of August, I'm not going to do it on the 10th of August but late on in the 10th of August I'm going to shut the leagues guys and then we're going to go from there it's going to be loads of tons of tons and tons of fun guys so there you go that's my little channel update on the Suarez situation, what I think about it I just think Suarez is a knob, I really think he's an absolute fucking knob Arsenal, you can have him, you can fucking have him I don't give a shit I really couldn't give a fucking flying shit about that. The, the thing that was, winds me up the most is, earlier on, oh, I want to leave Liverpool because of the English media. Now he wants to go to Arsenal. He needs a good slap. He needs, a good, he needs somebody to punch him in the face, to rearrange his teeth just a little bit, so they're a bit more straight or smaller. I don't know, but the guy's a cock. The guy's an absolute cock. And I've, I've always said that about Suarez. I've always said he's greedy bastard, he's a fucking idiot, but... He's a good fucking player and he will score some fucking goals. But as far as I'm concerned, I saw it, you can have him. Fucking have him. There's more trouble than he's fucking worth. When it comes later on down the season, or, uh, you know, when... The thing is, he quite clearly said the stuff that he said about, you know, when he was a racist. That Why is he going to Arsenal? There is a lot of black players at Arsenal. So how is he going to fucking, you know, integrate himself with all them lot after he's got done for racial fucking abuse? So, oh my, I just don't fucking get it. I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. Fucking idiot. What an absolute fucking idiot. He's a hypocritical, two-faced, son of a fucking wanker. That's what he is. That's what he is, guys. In the comment section, leave the comments, guys, and let me know who you would buy as a replacement, straight, a straight replacement for, uh, for some, look at that, fucking getting in camera, you son of a bitch. Meow. Aren't you? That fucker. Meow. Don't give me the non-fucking Chinese eyes. Yeah. Anyway, in the comments section, guys, leave fucking comments about who you would replace Suarez with. And uh, just keep it realistic, guys. Keep it real, to quote the G. <laughs> keep it real, guys. Keep it realistic. Keep the transfers realistic. And uh, we'll see what people say. Feel free to agree with people. Feel free to disagree with people. But keep it fucking, you know, keep it nice. Keep it calm. And we'll all have a discussion about this. Till next time. I'll be the top man as always. Stay safe.